The fashion industry is one of the world's largest polluters. It actually uh, creates more carbon emissions than international aviation and shipping combined. According to the UN, it's responsible for 20% of global wastewater and 10% of global waste emissions. It would take 13 years to drink the water that is used to make one pair of jeans and one t-shirt. The problem exists across the whole textile industry, so this is high-end fashion as well as fast fashion. We know that fast fashion has really encouraged people to consider clothing as throwaway, but also the problems within the production system and the supply chains are the same across high-end as well as fast fashion. How do I feel about fast yeah. fashion? I feel sick about it, to be honest. You hear people say, well, it was cheap, and you should wear it once you throw it away. And I just, you know, my heart just stops and I just, I, I can't, my, I, you know, I can't breathe for a second. Do you think self-regulation is going to work then? Absolutely not. The fashion industry has been marking its own homework for too long. That is just, that says it all. We're looking at a generation that is applying scrutiny, that is wanting to know that brands are accountable. And obviously transparency has been really on the rise ever since the Rana Plaza disaster. There's a lot of um, what we would call greenwashing. Greenwashing is when um, you lean into sustainability as a crutch and you're not actually making long-term investments or commitments into sustainability. There's a lot of greenwashing going on, especially in fast fashion, so I feel like it's up to the leaders in the fashion world to really show how sustainability can be done, because it's not as easy as people think, it's not as easy as recycled fabrics, and there's so many things that go into it.